Hello everyone, how to solve this problem for the values of t if we have t is equals to t divided by 11 and we solve this problem for all the values of t. Uh, so this means that first we need to find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution of this equation and which of the roots are extraneous root of this equation. Uh, so uh, at the end I can just uh, give the difference between uh, what is the difference between uh, solution and extraneous root so please watch this video at the end further we solve this problem for two methods I hope so you like both of these methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section so here uh, first you see that uh, the denominator in the left hand side is 1 we write it as t divided by 1 is equals to t divided by 11 so here we just use the cross multiplication technique and we multiply 11 with this t and we multiply 1 with this value so when we cross multiply the terms it will be written as 11 times of t becomes here 11 t equals to 1 times of t becomes here t only and now we move all the variable terms into the left hand side so for this you see that this is plus t when we move it into the left hand side it will becomes minus t and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now you see here 11 t minus t becomes here 10 t is equals to 0 so here for the values of t we need to divide both of the sides by 10 in order to remove this 10 from left hand side okay so that we will divide by 10 on both of the sides and, and now here further you see that this 10 and this 10 are cancelled out by each other and we will get here t is equals to this is 0 divided by 10 and you know that uh, 0 over something is always equals to 0 so this is the value of t uh, or this is the first root of this equation so because here we have only one root of the given equation and now here we need to verify that is this root be the solution of the given equation or is this root be the extraneous root so for uh, verification of the root we need to copy down given question statement here it is t is equals to t divided by 11 this is the over given question statement and now here we substitute the value of t is equals to 0 on both of the sides and you see here when you put it here it will become 0 is equals to 0 divided by 11 and uh, you see here when we divide uh, 0 with any other number is it is always gives us the answer is 0 so 0 by 11 is equals to 0 and we get here 0 is equals to 0 so this shows that the value of t is equals to 0 is satisfied our given question statement. So t is equals to 0 be the only solution of the given equation uh, which we get here from first method. And now here we move towards our second method uh, and uh, in second method we first need to copy down given question statement here and I hope so you like both of these methods. Uh, and now here uh, we copy down given question statement here it is t is equals to t divided by 11 so in second method uh, here first we uh, need uh, to move the term from right hand side to the left hand side and you see here it will become this is t this is positive term when we move it into the left hand side it will becomes negative and this is equals to zero so here in the second method i can just give you uh, and other technique uh, in which how to find uh, the root of this equation okay so I hope so you also like this technique so uh, here uh, in this method uh, our claim uh, our target is to uh, just make first the denominator of both of these terms same so in order to and you see here the denominator of this term is 11 in order to make the denominator of this term is also 11 uh, we will just divide now we will just multiply and divide uh, this term by 11 
and this is minus t divided by 11 and this is equals to 0. So you see here the denominator of both of these terms are same so that here we easily take the LCM of this term. So the LCM becomes 11 and this 11 is cancelled out by this 11 and we get here 11 t minus this is cancelled out by this and we get here t is equals to 0. And now here further in the next step we move this 11 to the right hand side and in the numerator we have 11 t minus t is equals to 10 times of t and 11 times of 0 becomes here 0. So for the values of t we divide both of the sides by 10. This 10 is cancelled out by this 10 and we get here our t is equals to 0 divided by 10 is equals to 0. So this is the value of t and uh, in the first method we already uh, verify this value of t and this value of t satisfied our given question statement. Uh, so this is the, our uh, solution of the given equation. So this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.